How's it going, everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today, I'm going to talk about a strategy that I developed myself, which is trading, assuming that you will be wrong. Over the years, I did different styles of trading, including day trading, which I am terrible at. I might wake up at like 6, 6.30 every morning, and it really bothered my sleep. But at the end of the year, I had a volume of around $2 million. So, you know, purchases and sells you would add that up to be $2 million. So that is quite a bit of volume and there's a lot of trading fees with that. My portfolio pretty much didn't lose a lot and didn't gain a lot. It pretty much stays flat. So from that experiment, I know active trading is just not for me. I'm not very good at it. So why not do something that I'm actually good at? I also found active trading to be way too stressful when I was doing it. You know, sometimes I would wake up at like 4.30 in the morning. It's like, oh, the market's about to open. Oh, let me let me like wake up and study the news, latest news and stuff and try to make a trade because I have a lot of money hanging there in the air, right? Any small move is gonna change my profits or losses so i have to keep on watching it today i'm going to talk about a different pace of trading rather than doing one trade a day two trades a day right you do more something like one per quarter so it's really really slow you don't actually have to like time it right on the day you know you can do it within that week if you want to and this has actually worked out for me i'll show you some of my gains later on in the video this video is brought to you by mumu the commission free trading app you can get five free stocks just for depositing a hundred dollars and you can get up to 15 free stocks total for depositing a thousand dollars check out my referral link down in the video description below people should be investing in the stock market index fund you know just keep on buying it holding it long term this is the most definite thing i've seen in my investing career that always seems to go up and if you invest it in the long term you can do very very well people always seem to want to time the market by individual stocks and i personally am susceptible to that because i just tallied out my portfolio 55 percent of it is in individual stocks right now and you know i try to move a bunch of it into the stock market index fund voo with a expense ratio of 0.03 percent if you really want to gamble right you should gamble with a small portion of your portfolio like 10 percent and then you can buy and sell individual stocks all you want just to satisfy some of your craving where you want to buy something and it skyrockets like 10x or something and then you know you can have fun at it that's personally what i do i'm a little bit heavy on individual stocks for now what works for me is somewhat of a slow trading about two or three trades per year or like once a quarter or so it's interesting for me to read stock news of my portfolio i just read every single article there is and it keeps me up to date on the stocks that i follow which is pretty heavy in tech so this is one of my purchases on meta platforms and i actually bought it right when it dipped around the end of 2022 and then it fell down some more and then i'm like okay fine you know i'll dollar cost average into it my cost per share is 245 dollars and now it's more than twice that at 505 so a total gain of around a hundred percent the current market value is a hundred and one thousand dollars right now with a gain of um fifty two thousand dollars so this is pretty good for this one single trade over here you can see i purchased it in february of 2022 around two years ago and i just want to talk about the psychology of this thing february 3rd is somewhere right here there's a really really steep drop over here and wow i bought into it and then i held on to it and can you imagine watching your stock that's worth 250 dollars over the course of one year, it just kept on dropping a little bit more, a little bit more, all the way to a minimum of $90. And this represents a drop of what, 60%. And I had to watch all of that and it's painful to see, but then eventually if you hold on enough, right, it just comes back and then it broke even and even exceeded my expectations and actually doubled from that point on. So what is the lesson here? For me personally, I don't know if this will apply to other people because I think everybody has a different way of trading. People are good at different things. Some people are really good at day trading. You really have to find out what type 
of investor are you are you no type of investor so you should just you know buy into SP don't ever look at it don't stress about it right but personally for me i like to read up on the news i like to you know make small moves and in my experience when I make really large moves, right? When I try to pick the top and then when I go all in or all out, that is when I get in trouble. If I sell everything, you know, you can never pick the top. That's the title of this video. You have to assume you will be wrong. So if you assume, what should you do instead of selling everything? You should sell a portion of it. If you look at all the asset managers, they sell they their movements are around five to ten percent of their entire portfolio so they move a little bit and maybe if it's a really really large portfolio they only sell five ten percent of their entire position even as a personal investor you know i don't have so many shares of stock i find for me at least i should move around maybe like 25 percent every single time i try to make a move and assume that i don't know where it's going to go after that right so when it dropped right if you hold on to some you want a dollar cost average into it but you don't want to suddenly put all the cash that you have in because then you run out of cash you cannot buy any more if it drops some more so you want to make slight movements into it in retrospect what i did with meta is a little bit too quick even i personally ran out of cash after maybe january february of 2022 i was all in by that point because it dropped quite a bit and i'm like oh, okay you know that this might be the bottom i should have divided my cash position into like a quarter a fifth or six whatever have you and then slowly move that money into whatever i want to buy dollar cost average into it and only make one single trade every three months i know it's a long time to wait in terms of trading but this is actually what seems to work for me so this is exactly what i'm doing when i'm selling right now meta has run up probably because of the ai boom everything is going up and at this point to me it seems a little bit frothy but i don't know if this is the top right it could go up to seven hundred dollars a thousand dollars right but to me it seems a little bit expensive as much as i want to offload all of it and go you know and pretend i am really smart afterwards like haha look i called the top you know and then it falls down to you know a hundred dollars and i can be like you know pat myself on the back but i have to assume i don't know where it's going so i already sold a quarter of my position i sold it around like 495 dollars or so 495 is roughly the median of the current price in the last month and where is it going to go from here well i'm going to wait a couple months maybe it's going to go up higher then i'm going to sell another 25 percent the idea here is to take some profits you have to take some profits because i hear stories too much of people watching their entire portfolio go up let's say during the dot-com days it goes up like three four hundred percent they see their portfolio reach like two million dollars and then they watch it drop all the way back down to like five hundred thousand dollars just take some profits just some of it but not enough to go all in or all out if it ever drops a lot then you can you know feel good that at least you locked in a little bit of it you don't watch your entire portfolio go up and then go down and you watched it all this time and you essentially have nothing to speak for no profits whatsoever there's the other side of this trade right when i sell something i'm gonna have a bunch of cash laying around so i want to deploy this cash because the other side of this trade is me wanting to get into tesla a little bit more i sold way too early before right and then i bought my tesla i know very well because i could have held on to a little bit more of it but at least i satisfied my initial goal right my goal was to put 20k into tesla it went up to eighty thousand dollars or so and then i sold it bought my tesla model 3 performance that was a very specific goal i had in mind of course if i held it longer i could have bought the roadster but that would be a change of plans my target was model three so that's the past let's look at what's going to happen in the future tesla appears to me like it's getting hammered right there's a really really terrible outlook waning demand in china there's so many ev competitors people hate evs these days they're talking about even you know maybe hybrids are better the demand is not there people 
don't like the range anxiety so then they're not going fully electric there's so many of these stories that you keep on hearing it's like what people are saying about it right so tesla seems to be super duper pessimistic right now and i feel like this might be a time to buy in but then you don't actually want to put all your cash in it, you know, just dump it all in. You want a dollar cost average into it. And it's times like these where it's doom and gloom. People think that, oh, you know, it's gonna go to like a $20 range. And I've seen this pessimism so many different times. Remember the financial bust of 2008? There was Bank of America. I remember specifically it was $5. Everybody was very very scared of this stock they think that you know they're gonna go bankrupt and it's gonna be worth zero but then warren buffett came in and you know put his name on it saying hey you know <laughs> it this is safe he's backing it up and all and then look you know it's like average price is like 40 dollars these days so i think there's an opportunity here it's also very very risky because yes you know it could never come back but it's times like these that you make the most gains i'm not even saying that it's gonna stay around 160 dollars right maybe it's gonna go all the way down to a hundred dollars this is just what i personally am doing i have to you know take responsibility for my own actions here so i personally am investing a little bit more into it what i'm doing is investing into it in trenches, right? I already bought a tiny little bit. I took whatever cash portions I have in my account, divide it into quarters, and I already purchased a little bit of Tesla. And if it drops further, I'm gonna buy more. If it drops further, buy more. And then maybe six months, a year from now, um, I might have you know, emptied out my cash positions in my portfolio. And then you wait a few more years, hopefully it'll come back. So those are my thoughts on, you know, how to make this trade for Tesla, how to profit off of your stock gains if you have some right now. Unfortunately, I didn't buy any into Nvidia. I don't have any of that at all. Having invested into the stock market index fund, VOO, I have, you know, about 25% of my portfolio in there. Nvidia is number three in terms of the weights in the S&P 500, 5% of it. So if you have S&P, you kind of raked in some of the amazing gains from Nvidia already. So those are my thoughts on the current trading environment and what I'm doing with my portfolio. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more.